Did you hit your head on the TV? Oh my god. Imbecile. <laughs> hey guys, Brandon Vlogs 14 here in collaboration with ESA Pictures. Today we'll be doing co Q&A video. I made a post a while ago on my Instagram asking people to ask me questions on my Ask FM. And so our first question is, where do you stand on masculism? I strongly believe in masculism because I personally believe women have too much rights in today's society. They're all I see on porn, <laughs> which... <laughs> All right, Johnny, what's your opinion on this masculism? I do not support Brandon Lee's opinions. The, that's that's screwed up. What I believe is masculism is not even a thing. And if it is, so it's just- You're saying feminism is a thing. Feminism is a thing. We are all feminists because we want women to have jobs. If you don't, then just go back to your communist country. Otherwise- So you're a feminist. I'm a feminist, not a feminist extremist. So you know, what about me? A, I'm a feminist. You're a men You're a masculist. I'm a masculist. You're a masculist. All right. Okay. Good enough. Question two. What kind of porn do you watch? That I do not support porn. I do not watch porn because it is illegal since I'm not 18. Game of Thrones. What's your opinion on Trinity Yu? I think she's a really sweet girl. I never really got to meet her yet, but I actually think she's quite the sweetheart. I, I think she went to David Douglas, right? Yeah, what's what's your opinion on Trinity U? This is an old joke. All right, next question. When did you find out you got off to animatronics? I, I think way back in October when I first played Five Nights at Freddy's, it was just way too hot. You know, like the animatronics in that game are just outstandingly hot. I... Mm. About an hour ago, I would say. Next question. Would you rather fight a million duck-sized horses or a million horses the size of ducks? <laughs> Hold on. Same thing. Well, hashtag masculism. What's your favorite color? That's a really tough one. I'd probably say yellow since it really matches with my skin tone. What about you, Johnny? Favorite color? <laughs> I don't want to talk about this right now. Next question. Why is my dick smaller than yours? No. <laughs> I'm... If it's smaller than three, I'm very sorry. Uh, on a scale one to Jaden Smith, how erect is your penis right now? On a scale one to Jaden Smith, I think I'm about... Um, how do I answer this? I'd probably say... I'm just about Jaden Smith. This video is a really good turn on for me. What, what about you, Juwan? I'm a Willow Smith because I can still whip my hit tail back and forth. What's it like to have a three inch erect penis? <laughs> wow, um... Why are these all about penises? <laughs> how surprised was Teresa Doe when she saw <laughs> your... <laughs> when, when she saw your three inch penis? You know, um... You know, I think she was, um... And then you finish in the toilet and then you flush it away. <laughs> What happens if you miss the toilet? Has, has that ever happened to you? <laughs> have, have you ever More than a few times. And really, you just get the toilet paper and you're like... And then, you know, that's it. Is it possible for you to be erect, <laughs> run into a wall, and not break your nose? <laughs> uh, how many people needed chemotherapy? after being your friend for a long period of time. That is terrible. <laughs> um, that is terrible. This is a terrible oh question. Cancer is not something to be made fun of. So uh, this question, I am no answer. Like, what? I get that like cancer being like a joke, an insult, like, you know, like, oh, that unfriended was such a cancer movie. Like, I, I cancer, like, I get that you're using it as an adjective, but like, you know, like it's, I feel like at this point it's as bad as using the word retard, you know? It, that's outdated. Stop. Like, it's, it's not nice. It doesn't. <laughs> Alright, next question. Why are there so many Kleenexes on your nightstand? I get sick very easily, so I have to blow my nose quite often. So that's the main reason why there's many Kleenexes next to my nightstand. What about you, Juan? Funny story. So, what happened was, like, it was October or something, and I was sick. 
and all through the night i was blowing my nose right i had like the tissues next to my bed and i was blowing my nose and like it was like 4 a.m so i was throwing the tissues on the ground and like as i was blowing my nose because i was way too tired and so when i wake up my dad's yelling at me he's like why are there tissues on the ground that's freaking disgusting so i know what he's thinking and i'm like dad i was blowing my nose and he's like no that's bullshit and so now he hasn't seen tissues on the floor since then. So I think he thinks better of me now, but that was probably the most awkward confrontation with my father there's ever been. Why aren't your parents proud of you? Hmm, I think it's because I'm not a doctor yet, primarily. Uh, what about you? Can I have some soda? All right, Joseph, my lovely assistant Joseph is getting me soda. Uh, why aren't my parents proud of me? It's because I exist. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay, my boy. Next question. Why do you have a framed picture of Teresa Doe thank you, Here's your water in your- Thank you. Thank you very much. That's not a, that's not a full bottle. Thanks, uh, why do you have a framed picture of Teresa Doe in your room? Well, as of February 8th, 2015, I've actually removed that photograph from my room. So uh, this question is not valid anymore since I do not have this framed photo anymore he gave it to me that that is true but as for me it's non-existent in my room would you eat ass for head um what? <laughs> okay this is a very tough question it's like telling me like like a frog disgusting to me and i'm not gonna oh um that's my phone what the hell oh wrong <laughs> wrong person. uh what it, okay this question was asked by donger d-o-n-g-e-r and his question is what is the most times you have masturbated on one day my record is 11. me i'd say about uh one actually zero because i do not support masturbation therefore i do not masturbate except on seven <clears throat> donger i am coming for you donger i am coming for you i'm coming for you. Good answer. On a scale from 1 to 10, 10 being a flamboyant homosexual and 1 being straight, how gay are you? Um, I don't, I'd probably say a, a 2 since there was this one time where I did get a boner at a aquatic park from this old guy, but that was my only gay experience, I promise. Aside from that, I am, I, I am, I'm not gay. I'm straight. I have nothing against homosexuals, but no, I'm not one of them. I'm a one. Why do you say them? Are you discriminating them, Joanna? <laughs> no, I'm classifying them as a group of people because that's what they are. It's the same as calling black people black. All right, fair enough. Do you have time to discuss our Lord and Savior, Hitler? Um, <laughs> all right. I don't think this question is appropriate since Hitler is not alive at this moment. I'm totally cutting so much of this. Oh my God. Um, who the hell asked these questions? All right, next question. Finally, a normal one. Who is Bay? That's not normal. Uh, that's more normal than the previous yeah, one. Okay. Uh, I think Bay is definitely my um, my mama. Big shout out to her, and you know she cooks for me. She she does my laundry sometimes. She yells at me, which teaches me that wrong is not right and right is not wrong. All right. Thank you, thank you. Big shout out to my mama. To all you mama fans out there, uh, I really appreciate the support. Your mom should have like a Facebook fan page. Uh, my bae, number one is Lucy Hale. She plays Arya from Pretty Little Liars. So someone on the Skype call has asked, do I watch Our Pretty guest. Little Liars? I've seen a few episodes here and there. Like Ezra's A, right? All right, next question. What is your opinion on Tyler Chow? Um, he's just a young lad. Um, <laughs> he's still learning. So I don't blame him for, actually I do blame him, but oh aside from that, I understand that he's still in the midst of puberty and I understand that his, his dick gets itchy sometimes. Oh so, you know, I don't blame him, but in the end it was still his fault. He's a good boy in his heart since he makes the yearbook and anyone on yearbook crew is a good person. Bonnie Tan is also on your book as of next year. Oh wait, my opinion about your book is different then. Never mind. <laughs> I think Tyler's I. He's I. I. He's he's would mysterious. You, would you explain your relationship with Tyler Chow? He's my neighbor. Uh huh. Do you guys ever procreate with one another? No. Um. I edit his videos for Say Chow Productions. Actually. Um. There are two videos waiting that I haven't started yet. But I I edit his videos and. 
you know, I'm I'm okay with him. Mm-hmm. It's just whatever. May I'm I, not close to him, but yeah. May I ask one question about these videos? Are they children videos or adult videos? Oh my god. I Chow's videos are children videos. Mm-hmm. Right, okay. Thank you for your answer. All right, uh, next question. I'm not necessarily sure if this is a question, but I'll read it anyways. I, I'll have to say no. What about you, Juwan? So, the- no, maybe. Are you Lucy Hale? Wow, that was deep. All right, next. Uh, he just stole my bike, and I'm f***ing <laughs> my dog right now, question mark. Uh, okay, so if a burglar came and stole your bike, and you're in the middle of f***ing your dog, you have you have two decisions. Do you call the police or finish f***ing your dog? Um, okay. Take this into consideration. How much is the bike for one? And two, how hot is your dog? You're, since you're already riding your dog, might as well ride him to the rescue of your bike. Wow. Okay. Uh, next question. I can't get these off me anymore it's like I'm a chick magnet please hep please hep 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 C like hepatitis please hep I'm not sure if I can hep you with this um if you have this problem I think you should just tell girls either one lie that you're gay or two tell them you have a girlfriend yeah these are the only ways to avoid uh all I have to say is you're complaining about this what the hell you should be proud <laughs> Every time I look at your fake, I fuck my gun and shoot bullets in my dick hole. It fucking bitches and my eyes sometimes help. Um, I'm not necessarily sure if how how to answer. I'm not even sure what this question is asking. Can 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 you please clarify? I don't remember. Okay, like. I feel like I asked this because I remember something about f***ing the gun and shooting bullets, but like, I don't get the last part. Alright. Um, stop looking at Brandon's face. Every time. Okay, right, fair face. enough. This may contain some explicit language for children under the age of, uh, <laughs> under the age of six. Alright. How many f- can a f- f- if a f- It's, it's how many f- can a f- 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 if a f- 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 how? I I'm not sure how many f- a f- f- can f- I I have zero idea on how to answer this question. Um, to answer it in simple terms. F- question. Uh, wow, what a debatable question. Um, highly controversial. Apple or iPhone? Seeing that iPhone comes from Apple, I'd probably say iPhone since nothing's better than an iPhone. Okay, here's the level. It goes Linux, like M- Microsoft, like and Android, like Apple, and then iPhones at the top. Yeah, yeah. Nothing, yeah, John, anything to add? I mean, I would say Apple because Apple makes, what's it called, the Zune. And the Zune is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Your name isn't even Brandon. It's Lee Hong Fa Hong Ma. Tiny dick. I'll put you in my pussy. <laughs> this doesn't even have a question mark. Uh, I'll put you in my. I'd, I'd really enjoy that. It honestly depends if like. Actually, no. Any pussy is pussy. It's like the platinum rule, you know. Like there's silver, golden, then platinum. This is platinum. Cock. Suck your own. I'll give a demonstration. Imagine this microphone right here is your penis. All right. <laughs> All right, next uh, question. Um, weed, 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 weed. Please, f- my goat. It's hungry. Uh, I do not support bestiality, and I'm not really a fan of goats. I don't really like goat milk or goats in general. Brandon, the goat is hungry. You got the the goat is starving. That's the, you're you're the only thing that can feed it. Okay, in this situation, to save a life, one must give his life. Listen, bitch, I. Don't give a cock if your ass smells like hack, because f- yes, bitch, right now. Um, I'm, I'm not sure how you know what my ass smells like. Um, 
<laughs> I think that's all that needs to be said. How does it feel to be Brandon Lee? I think it feels pretty nice being Brandon Lee. I mean, I have two E's in my last name, which shows that I'm like dominant in terms of other people with the last name Lee. There's not that many advantages except for being Brandon Lee. Being Brandon Lee is, is amazing. It's like Taco Bell, but healthier. Who is better, Viet's or Chinese? Now, I get asked this question a lot, and I can tell you from years of experience, I used to live in Vietnam, and I used to, I also used, I used to live in China. Now, comparing both countries, now imagine this is Vietnam, okay, like farm everywhere, like no money, and then like here's China, like, like high rises everywhere, multi-trillionaires. There are free ATMs in China. You just walk up and they give you money because that's how rich China is. China has Jaden Smith back in the day when he was training to become a Kung Fu warrior. And I think right then, right there, like China deserves every level of respect. Jaden Smith went to China and there's a movie about China with Jaden Smith in it. Mm -hmm. Therefore, China, 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 China. Here. Vietnam here. Yeah. What do you think the cause would be for World War Three? I honestly think this obviously Donald Trump, let's be honest. <laughs> what else is there to say? <laughs> Donald Trump, I mean, he would be an okay president, but like, I think he'd definitely start World War Three. I think the cause for World War Three will be feminism. Now, uh, why is that? Is there something wrong with feminism? Soon they're gonna ask for rights to launch nukes. Suddenly we're at war. And as Austin says, instead of voting for Donald Trump or feminism, we're voting for these nuts. Ha got him. Who is your best friend? I used to have a former male friend by the name of Tyler Chow. He used to be my best friend, but ever since he left me, I've just felt a big void in my heart. As of right now, I don't have a best friend. I don't like to speak about it often. I'd like to give a shout out to uh, Alana Duong. Phineas and Ferb, A L A N A. <laughs> Alana, don't forget it. Now, what's so magnificent about this mysterious Alana Duong? Before he says anything, Alana Duong, will you go to Winter Forest? with me got no words how beautiful is she <laughs> on a scale of one to jaden smith <laughs> jaden smith who created the h&m sweatshirt trend wow everyone pointing at joseph yeah i think this man by the name of joseph lee okay he created the sweatpants short trend these right here these bad boys this, this is this is how you wear them holy so oh that's how you make them shorts oh, oh. Oh my god. Guys, please, you're too loud. I started these back in 2000. What year is this? 2009. 2014.75. I don't know how it started. I just wore it to school one day. Everyone's like, wow, look at those legs. How comfortable are these pants on the scale one to Jaden Smith? One under Jaden Smith because wow. they got hot sometimes. That's damn near Jaden Smith. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they get really hot. But um, there's a breeze down here, so they, it cools you down. So I'd say, I actually say Jaden Smith. Wow. Those are some damn near comfortable uh, <laughs> sweatpants. This is not damn near comfortable, by the way. I back to my position. Did Joseph really create the <laughs> sweat jogger trend? Wow, what a crazy question. Yes, as stated before, Joseph created the sweat jogger trend in 2014. Uh, right. I I'd say I didn't actually create, but I Who innovated. I innovated it. I I didn't want to be better than just jogger people. I wanted to be different. Revolutionary. Revolutionary. I wanted to be. I wanted to revolutionize this industry. You made the small things unforgettable. But not better, different. Is hating on a trend really a trend? Let's say, like, I create a trend and I, instead of pronouncing it aluminum, since most Americans would, I pronounce it aluminium. Now, let's say this becomes an, a trend and people start saying aluminium and you start hating on aluminium. Is that a trend? Here's what I think it's talking about. It's like, it's when people hate Jaden Smith. You know, Jaden Smith, he's the most talented young artist out there right now. He should be an inspiration for young children all over the world. It is a trend to hate him. And he, he is his own trend because you know, his amazing Oscar worthy performance in Karate Kid and everything he did after that, like his pumped up kicks cover. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh. And his clothing line misfits. You know, he is a trend, but hating on him is an even greater trend. And I say, don't fall for any of those trends. So take that mother out of your life. Well, uh, that's all the time we have for today in our Q&A video. I'd like to give a big shout out to the people who asked these lovely 55 questions. Now, don't forget to subscribe to uh, Brandon Vlogs 14 and- That's not even your username. <laughs> and here's Austin. Hey. Uh, I'd like to give a big shout out to my fiance. Fiance. Have a nice gay day. <laughs> Have a nice day, guys. Straight
out of Compton. And he's, he's a brother that will smother your mother. Oh, oh.